wood tiger moths in Finland may confuse you. While all have black and white forewings, males have yellow or white hind wings, and female hind wings are orange or red. This colorization makes the moths pop out on natural backgrounds, not only for our eyes. Birds also easily detect them, but as the moths taste bad, birds memorize their warning coloration and soon learn not to attack them. This would be even easier if all moths had the same color. Imagine a stop sign in four different varieties. Here's the problem. Why does a species have so many colors? To answer this question, we look at the moths with their own eyes and with the eyes of the Eurasian blue tit, a bird that preys on them. We found that the moths have three types of light detector cells, so-called photoreceptors, in their compound eyes. These photoreceptors are most sensitive to the ultraviolet, blue and green part of the light spectrum and the moths might use them for colour vision. Blue tits have four types of photoreceptors specialised for colour vision. These are most sensitive to the ultraviolet, blue, green and red part of the light spectrum. We combined this knowledge with measurements of the moth's wing colours in established colour vision models. Our results show that both moths and birds can easily detect all these colours on green backgrounds, like leaves, and brown backgrounds, like bark. Just as we humans do, the moths are able to categorise yellow and white males as being different based on colour. The main reason is that the hind wings of white males also reflect a lot of ultraviolet light, something we can't see. On the other hand, for the moths themselves, the colours of the red and orange females are largely overlapping. This means they cannot recognise them as different categories. Males use pheromones emitted by females to find them but it is likely that they also use visual signals to reach their location. We found that the eyes of males are more than twice as sensitive as those of females. This was a surprise, but it fits well to the natural behaviour of the moths. Females mostly sit on the vegetation and emit pheromones until they mate, lay eggs and die. Males instead fly to find a mate and need sensitive eyes for flight control and for detecting females. Our data suggests that males can detect all females visually, but they are unable to make a categorical distinction between an orange and a red female. Thus, female colours are probably not used for mate choice. In contrast, the females might use the colours of males to decide whether or not to mate with a particular male. We know that once a male has found a female, she decides on whether to accept or reject him. More work is needed to better understand the complex relationship between the moth's coloration and the moths and their predators' vision and learning.